nuggets, this is some good cocoa. Hi there, kitties. Yes, it's me, Lobo. You're probably wondering why I'd be hosting this after the complete existential meltdown I had in Batman's Boys Episode 10, Space Therapy. Anyway, I am here with my good friend, the Fraggin' Frankenstein Monster. Hi. So, Frankie, do not call me that savage. Are you ready for this year's riveting holiday tale featuring some super chumps? You irritate and disgust me, you psychopath. All right, let's get this fragging started. I'm fragging pumped. You ready? Hmm? What? Uh... Frankie boy? You good? Huh? I, I, I told you not to- And so our Christmas tale begins. We begin our holiday tale with the cool, uh, I mean, lame, super villains tearing up some Gotham pigs. Why do you people even try? Kiss my skills, pigs! <laughs> Wait, why are you doing this? Feliz Navidad. Jingle bells, cops that smell, and I do the gun. Yeah, um, Batman, this is Detective Rene Montoya. I'm here with Detective Harvey Bullock. I'm not sure if you've seen the news, but Bane and Killer Croc are sort of unleashing havoc. They smashed the bat signal. Do you think you could, um, help us out? <laughs> like skipping stones on Lake Chapala. <laughs> <laughs> on my way. Has anyone died? No, they just seem to be playing Ultimate Frisbee with the cops. And no, I don't know why I know what that is. I'll be there soon. Isn't Killer Croc supposed to be in that dreadful Amanda Waller woman's secret espionage team of enslaved supervillains? Apparently not right now. I doubt Waller has anything to do with this, but I wouldn't bet against it either. I would bet that this is all a distraction, while Bane's got his henchmen up to something. That makes sense, Master Timothy. I suggest that you all split up. Good suggestion, Alfred. I'll contact Batwoman, Orphan, and Spoiler to search the city for Bane's goons. Anyway, Red Robin, Catwoman, we're going to deal with Killer Croc and Bane downtown. Then I have to meet with Superman and Metropolis. So, seeing as you broke your arm two days ago fighting Clayface... In the theater they say, break a leg, but they don't specify which leg now do they? You're going to be left with some babysitters while Red Robin, Catwoman, and I deal with the attack. Alfred is going to be in a Zoom call with his mother all night. Uh, he didn't even break my leg. Why do you even say that? What if I wore one of those exoskeleton body armors you have to help? Hmm... Uh, sir? Bruce! You're staying here. Everyone come over. Thank goodness my dad's in Hawaii right now. We'll be back by tomorrow morning. Behave yourself, Damien. Make sure he doesn't stay up too late. Hey! How come I can't go with you? Is this a serious question? You're grounded because... Okay, that's fair. I can't believe you hit Egghead and Crazy Quilt with the Batmobile. Isn't Crazy Quilt a certified insane blind man? He... he could see bright colors. Oh my gosh. Good night, don't wreck the place. Happy holidays, Bat Dude! Uh, how long do you think it'll take us to defeat evil tonight? I, I was hoping to watch uh, the Detective Conan Christmas special with... Uh, uh, someone! Someone tonight. So, what 
What do you want to do first, Damien? I have an idea. Diplop, I choose you. Well, he's reacting better than last time when he smashed the TV. Uh, so where's Starfire? Meanwhile, in the headquarters of the Twerp Titans. Yeah, that works. Really appreciate you guys coming over, especially you, Vic. No one knows this place better than you, brother. No problem, Karen. <laughs> I built this place. Well. Thanks again. I'd do it myself, but I've got to interrogate Gizmo. Let me know if you need anything. You got it, Karen. Hey, Cory, uh, could you... sing it again? Why, of course, baby. Santa, baby, just slip a sable under the tree for me. Been an awful good girl, Santa, baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. <sighs> Why did I agree to let them both tag along? They're like this every year. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, and dogs. What should we do for Christmas Eve? Make gingerbread cookies? Nah. Singing Christmas carols? Oh, God, no. I have an idea. Ooh, this ought to be good. Greetings, camera. Here is our live performance of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Yes, I sure do love money. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Mr. Scrooge. How much would you like to donate to charity? None. Die. Bah humbug! Get out! <laughs> Hello, Uncle. Merry Christmas. Are you coming to my party or what? Bah humbug! Bye. Okay then. Bye. Oi, Bush. Can I have my Christmas off? Eh, uh, fine, Cratchit. Get out. Be back on the twenty-sixth. You got it, Bush. Thanks. Peace. Ebenezer, stop being a jerkish miser, or you'll end up like me. Whoa, 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 wait. Why are you in the wheelchair from your oracle days? Because Jacob Marley is an old dead guy, and I thought it would fit. Ahem. May we continue the play, please? Yeah, sorry. You're not real. You're probably like an undigested potato or whatever. Bah humbug! Ebenezer! I'm the ghost of Christmas past, and I'm totally not an undigested potato or whatever. Prove it! Okay, here's young you with your old boss, Mr. Fezziwig! Jason. Why are you wearing Dick's old Robin suit? Because I'm past Robin, duh! <laughs> and I wasn't gonna wear my old costume because, uh, you know. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it does me. <laughs> Jason, you should really see a psychiatrist. I did, and it really helped with my trauma. Ah! <laughs> Why are you 
doing this? To prove a point. <laughs> well, that was dark. Okay, if we're done having traumatic flashbacks. Could we get on with our play, please? Also, remember to cut out all of this secret identity stuff. Um, Joe, Mr. Fishweed, what are you doing tonight? Why, we're going to have a party, Ebenezer. Woo! Heck yeah, party! See this? You used to be happy before you were a mean old man. Isn't that interesting? Um... Hey, check this out. Your employee's life is in the crapper. It's your fault. Oh, I'm sorry, Tiny Tim. All we can afford is this one bone for your dinner. Because me boss is a cheapskate. Mom, language. Ooh. I'm starting to think I'm not a good person. Oh, uh, also, your monkey nephew Fred says you suck. <coughs> Bye. Oh! Hey, son's dead because of you, you. What a jerk! Oh no! I died hated and alone! No! Oh, thank goodness. Hey, hey, boy. Eh? Buy a roast duck for me. Okay. Hey, Cratchit. I'm giving you a raise, and I'm having a roast duck delivered to you. Gee, boss. Thanks. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, Tiny Tim. God bless us. Everyone. That was adequately entertaining. Now what? I think I have an idea, dudes! This is awesome! I agree, dude! Please don't drop me, Ray. You got it, Rachel? No problem. I got it. I am so posting this on my Supergirl TikTok! It was so cool of you to come show off as the ghost of Christmas yet to come, Raven. Uh, no problem. Say, could you guys dial it back on the conversation? We should listen to some BTS Christmas albums tonight. What about the Backstreet Boys Christmas album? Oh, please, that's old Babs. Pentatonic's Christmas album is very sad. Actually, both those music groups are pretty old. Best Christmas ever! And thus ends another tale of Damian Wayne's adventures in the baby set. I mean, the stupid idiots? I don't know. It's over. Well, wasn't that fragging exciting, Frank? How many times must I tell you? You genocidal degenerate, only the bride can call me Frank. You can call me Frankenstein. Wait, what did you say? I said, wasn't that story fragging exciting? Wait, wait a minute. Why are you so enthusiastic about Christmas? I thought you detested Earth holidays. Wait, where am I? Why am I here? What is going on here? Hey! You made me spill my hot cocoa! Don't you know this is the same sweater worn by Nightwing in episode 10? It's ruined! You're not even that psychotic alien, are you? Who are you? Reveal yourself! Okay, fine. You figured it out. That's right! 
It was I, Batmite, all along, supremely powerful fifth dimensional being, and Batman's number one fan. What? Why have you done this to me? Why? I wanted to host a Batman adventure, and you seemed like a fun co-host. I've also been meaning to try out my Lobo impersonation. Yeah, it's pretty much as simple as that. Please release me from... this... imp. Hey! You can't call me the I-word! How dare you! I have been around since 1959! Show me some respect, youngster. What? Uh, I was born over two centuries ago. Yeah, but you didn't exist in the comics the way you do until 2006, when you were reintroduced by Grant Morrison and Doug Mankey! Please just release me! Fine, but first you must prove your might by fighting the greatest hero of them all, Batman! <laughs> 1989-92 film, Batman! Um, I would like to be returned home. Oh, I knew I should have gone with the 90s cartoon one. Okay, you can go home too, Buff Karloff. Oh, thank God I'm all alone on Christmas Day. Surprise! Surprise, Ovi! Surprise! What are you all doing here? I to celebrate Christmas with you. Isn't it obvious? We know you and the bride aren't on good terms right now, so we thought we would get together and celebrate with you. Despite being a monster man that many find scary, would you like a beverage made with egg yolk and dairy? Yeah, what Etrigan said. You want some eggnog? Why, thank you all. Sorry that Detective Jim couldn't join us. He's our Christmas gaffer at the Oblivion Bar. And Swamp Thing is me with Greta Thunberg. Well, this is quite nice. What will we be doing tonight? We're watching a Christmas film together. Yeah! Muppets Christmas Carol! Let's go, baby! John Constantine. I am the Spectre. And I have come to punish you for the wrongs you have committed upon the world. Is this because I put ketchup on a hot dog while I was in Chicago? Um, actually, I'm terrified beyond all reason right now. I know that is unholy. Please don't take my life. I'm still using it, you know. Um, oh, Constantine. How thoughtful of you to invite the Spectre to this surprise Christmas party. It is always an honor to be in the presence of such a powerful being. Yo, what? Uh, I, I mean, yeah. What's a Christmas celebration without the wrath of God? All right. I will go along with it. For now. What's the plan for the night? Uh, we were actually gonna watch the M Muppets Christmas Carol. Michael Caine. Good pick. All right, let's do this.
Bruce. Yes, Selena? <sighs> Is this the gun that was used to kill your parents? Yes. Bruce, don't you think that seems a little unhealthy? Yes! Thank you!